Welcome back to Streamline Entertainment is your boy Marvin. Uh, back to the Monday. I hope everyone's having a good day. I had an amazing weekend. Um, went to see my city team play at Wembley, which was really cool. Um, they won 2 0, which was absolutely brilliant. Um, yeah, it was a really cool. Um, my older brother came up from Wales, which was good. In England, um, anybody knows um, uh, Wales, he came from Wales to England, which is a country in the UK. Um, probably about a two hour drive or so, two, two and a half hours, depending on traffic. Um, yes, yeah, so that was really good to see him as well. So, spent time with my family, which was good, um, brothers and sisters. And yeah, it was a really cool weekend. I just want to get into this video. Um, Diddy speaks out for the first time since hotel footage serviced, um, serviced, surfaced online. Let's get straight into it. It's so difficult to reflect on the darkest times in your life. Sometimes you got to do that. I was fucked up. I mean, I hit rock bottom. But I make no excuses. My behavior on that video is inexcusable. I take. F but the thing is, uh, shouldn't he took in this one on for quite some time, the abuse uh, to his ex girlfriend Cassie? Shouldn't he have taken some action then? I, I think it's all like coming out and um, saying all of this, um, but and giving a public statement. Um, I did this, I did that, I'm sorry, I'm asking for forgiveness, I went to therapy, I'm truly sorry. Uh, this is such a common script, someone said this, Stella Bozea, and she's right, it, 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 it is. Um, I think this guy's a narcissist, I think he likes to be in control, if he's not in control, there's um, seriously things wrong. Uh, point three, did he previously denied um, publicly allegations of domestic violence and other forms of violence? Uh, he alleged to have um, uh, perpetrated so a liar. Let us also not forget him and his legal team paid 50000 to uh, suppressed security footage. This apology of more like my finger was caught in the situation otherwise we'd never have known. It's number four. Quite pretty, pretty damning evidence now that a video was out there um, him, you know, kicking her and beating her and just being very like an abusive thug unbelievable not once does he mention Cassie's name not once um, that's odd that uh, mention not mentioned in the main number one me 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 not once does he recognize the pain he calls Cassie not once after being exposed she says following the leaked tape of PDT abusing Cassie Diddy has given a public statement uh, let's carry on see what else he has to say full responsibility for my actions in that video Disgusted. I was disgusted then when I did it. I'm disgusted now. I went and I sought out professional help. I had to go into therapy and go into rehab. I had to ask God for His mercy and grace. To me, I just think it, I don't think it's. Um, he's probably thinking. What more accusations or people are going to come forward now just to cover himself? I don't think it's as sincere, uh, the actual abuse he actually put her through. I just don't think so because you would have said and done to me earlier and sorted this self out. It's only because the video has come out. The four points, the, sorry, the three points the ladies made uh, um, stellar on this one. I'm truly sorry. I went to therapy. I asked God for forgiveness. And this is such a common script um, because he's been called out. And a, th a lot of things are on top, so it's given him a lot of things to actually think about at the end of the day. I'm so sorry. But I'm committed to be a better man each and every day. I'm not asking for forgiveness. Truly sorry. So, so genuine. 
I'm not so sure, to be honest with you. Uh, a good role model, not for me. Um, what else is going to come out now? She's come forward. What I think is, is people always are afraid of who else comes forward in these cases, I think, personally. So it's going to be interesting to see if um, other artists like Usher, Seymour, a lot of the younger artist, Justin Bieber, um, who was, uh, there's a video out there where, um, I see if I can find it, I'll probably do a video on it as well, where P Diddy is patting down just to make sure he's not got any recording equipment or wired on him um, to, to protect his well-being. That was really, really odd and that bit, um, video is circling the internet now. I did see it the other day but I'll pick it up and probably do a video on it tomorrow. Um, I think he's guilty of a lot of things. Um, I'm not a court, but um, I'd never liked him, to be honest with you. I'm not, not because of that. I just thought he was a little bit uh, arrogant, a bit bad-tempered. And he's someone I look at and I think, nah, I, I just... Uh, it, it, there's no attraction at the end of the day. There's no sort of, yeah, he's good, he's that, at the end of the day. Not compared to, like, Tupac or Usher. I know Usher's been involved, but Usher comes across as a good person. Tupac did, at the end of the day. They're, that rappers, I think, like they generally say how it is, and they're good guys, even though they had a bit of a hellish life as well. At the end of the day, they were still likeable. This is what I think, anyway. So it's going to be interesting. Um, I think their version of the CPS, Crown Prosecution, are looking at things... I think though, I think Diddy will get away with a lot because I think he has a lot on other people and they're gonna go hush hush because they probably knew what was going on. Quite a few famous people were actually mentioned in connection uh, with Diddy. Kim Kardashian for one, uh, I've said it in other videos, she was supposed to be a front runner for him and organizing and bringing rich, wealthy young people to the parties. I think the worrying thing is that I heard neighbours saw young people going into these parties and um, I hope for his sake they wasn't underage. I mean, they could have, you know, they could have been, like I said, 18, 17, 16, but it could have been lower than that at the end of the day. And I think this is what the um, police and prosecution service are looking at at the end of the day. So watch the space. I think there's still loads and loads more information coming out. And it's funny with all Hollywood and all these superstars and um, old school Hollywood stars saying out to come out and say that you know they got raped and abused. It's quite sickening, um, to be honest with you, honest with you, because we always think as um, human beings that uh, as normal human beings that are not famous that they lead a perfect life, and it could be quite sinister at times as we're seeing today. Don't forget to subscribe to Streamline Entertainment and follow the channel. Thank you for your support wherever you're around the world. Take care. Cheers. Bye.